Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Fireman Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Munich Winkle map. We are playing with a more realistic game engine. The damage mod and the forest mod. Along with a whole pile of other little add-ons, mods, scripts, and uh, who knows what else. At least those are the uh, major ones anyway. Got our hired worker here. Built to make an upper field. He is doing a nice job at least. Say I do like that uh, cultivator. It's one nice big cultivator. Exactly how big is that thing exactly? I forget again. 18. Eh. I'd warrant more on the. Uh, well, it says 18.9, so I'd, I'd say probably 18 is probably pretty close. Anyway. This episode, I wanted to get this guy going, and this time I did remember to put in my little uh, Uni Mog that has the service thingy majiggies on the back. Now, this isn't a more realistic edition. But, oh well. I wasn't overly impressed with the more realistic edition we had already, so. Got rid of that one. I actually, yeah, I just outright sold it. It's like, it's pretty much worthless. Uh, the main reason I bought it was so I can haul stuff down the road with it. Yeah, I can't even do that with it, so it's like, screw it. Just get rid of it. Curiosity, is this the, actually the in-game one? Case Magnum 315. I think that was a 340. Just looking at this one, it looks like the in-game one. But, anyway. Uh, out of curiosity, any other tractors we could get? Would like to get one of these. Probably the tracked one, like I said before. Uh, we already got a Schluter. Don't really need another one. We get one of these... Dutes, or Doits, however you say it. Agrotron TTV 7250. What's the difference here? We got a 7250 and we got a oh, 7250 EX. Okay. 310. Oh, 260. Oh, that's quite a bit more, actually. About 50 more horsepower. A tuning box has been added to this tractor to raise the engine power for high speed work. Okay. Uh, somehow, folks, I just have my doubts about a tuning box adding 50 horsepower. I don't know, maybe. Seems like it need more than just a tuning box to me, but anyway, we bought our uh, Unimog. I'm going to just reset that. Now, I haven't used this in MR, so I'm just going to make the assumption here that this is going to work okay. I've used it non MR, it's worked fine, so. Getting out of that truck there reminded me. Do I have any other crops that I can sell? I do have 69,000 bar that I could probably sell. Should probably look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dash on this truck is a little messed up. Not entirely sure why that would be, considering most UNI MOGs I've seen have are pretty good. And I'm assuming, or I would think anyway, the mod author of this UNI MOG would have just taken one of those and added the uh, doohickeys to the back of it, but uh, maybe not. I do like it has a service license plate. You know what, I think I need to turn here. Yes, I do. Uh, still working on the leg issues down at the farm yet. Uh, that's kind of the main reason why not a whole lot of off-screen work has been happening. Uh, you guys are pretty much seeing everything I'm doing on this map at the moment for the last week, uh, week and a half here or so, something like that. Pretty much been busy off-screen trying to troubleshoot the uh, lag issues. And one of the uh, more baffling ones, that is for sure. Hopefully the next episode here so I can... Uh, not mean to do that. At least I didn't damage it. At least my Unai Mog, that is. For some reason, I was thinking I could drive through this one. Now. Do you know what? Maybe I need to fill from the back. I gotta remember where I need to fill this one at. Keep thinking my Bergalt, where you actually have to drive through the side of it there, and that's actually kind of where it fills it. Oh, 
that, uh, is it? Yeah, that should be filling the seed. Would be nice if they could somehow differentiate that so you can actually see, okay, it's seed, and that's fertilizer. Now, can I refill the fertilizer? Oh, I can. Excellent. Now, I'm going to make the assumption at this point I should be able to hire a worker. And I probably actually don't have to cultivate this, but since I already got a cultivator going, we'll just leave him going. Can't hurt none. Uh, you're technically supposed to do it for the weeds anyway, so... Well, in addition to that, actually, you're supposed to plow it, too, they say, so... Okay, that looks like it's uh, lined up pretty good. We are planting rye. Oh, he did not turn the fertilizer on, did he? Not sure it really matters. We'll see how he goes with a fertilizer. See how that goes. Oh, it's going down pretty slow. We well, actually might be okay on the fertilizer then. I was thinking rye would uh, be a fairly higher volume crop that would be getting planted here, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different seed. I was thinking of rye seeds. Uh, kind of like wheat, I believe. Anyway, that's what I thought, anyway. Maybe not. Maybe it's more like a grass seed. That's possible. Okay. I do have this guy going, by the way. Got him going again. Assuming the tractor's somewhere. Oh, that. Nope. That's not, not him. Okay, it's red, but not uh, the right one. Anyway. I did notice our fent here is full, or close enough anyway, so we're going to go empty this. Haven't uh, set up a course for this yet. I intend on probably just waiting. Tell you well, actually, I guess the truck is done, so I could actually get the truck doing this. Yeah, I don't know if there's really any sense. Probably got half the field done. It's easy enough to just to drive the tractor over here. Okay, this is as fast as we can go. Really. Yeah, I suppose technically that's right. Dirt path like this, yeah. Probably won't even go this fast, actually. Get on a nice road, though. You should be able to easily uh, go to max speed with this tractor. Seems like it's nice and steady, at least. It uh, didn't turn over with that turn. I was like, oh, crap. It's going to turn over. Nope. Yeah, for the lag issues, I've been thinking, you know, trying to move some of the equipment out of here, spread it out a little more. Trouble is, it's like I use all the equipment here, so we're... Do I spread it out to... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That was actually uh, going over the hill. That probably caused the problem. Anyway, like I was saying about, uh, you know, spreading out the uh, equipment. The only trouble is, where do I spread it out to? Because I'm kind of using most of it. And I'm using most of it right around in this area, too. So, I figured one of the things I can do, I'm not using all the uh, forestry equipment I have. So, I might move all that down to, like, the sawmill or something. I'm going to move it somewhere anyway. Maybe I'll move it to another wood spot. I don't know. We'll find out. Or I'll find out. I'm going to move it somewhere. It's still there yet. I'm not necessarily blaming it on that, but I'm just saying that's one of the things I can move away from here that'll hopefully help a little bit. I know this trailer's probably pretty heavy, but it just seems to me this trailer, or this tractor should have a little more oomph than it does. Should be the last one here, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Now you're going to dump from the back, from the side, probably the side. 
AS from the side. Okay. And what are wheat prices looking like at the moment? 606. That's not too bad. 649. Oh, 2401. The farm shop. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking that's an air, folks. <laughs> that's. I'm going to take it, though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's, uh. Yeah, wow. 2401. Why would that be so much more there? I wonder if it's supposed to be 24. Or maybe it's just 401. Huh. It seems kind of weird. Considering everything else is in the 5 600 range. Thinking that's probably a bug. Oh crap, do not drive under the potatoes. I do not want potatoes in here. Not yet, anyway. Speaking of potatoes, we got a fairly low price. I see 249, 241. Uh, what's some of the other ones? Potatoes, 261. Well, 321. Yeah, but our potatoes probably, what did we have left on the Great Demand? It was only like, yeah, an hour. That's what I thought. And actually only 10 minutes. 8 o'clock, I believe, will be... Oh, wait, I want to go this way, actually. I could go that way, too, but this way is, I think, is shorter. I'm going to say it's shorter, anyway. Yeah, so we only got 10 minutes left on the potatoes. I uh, don't think potatoes are ripe yet. Oh, well. It's been like a couple of great demands for potatoes now. It's, it's ridiculous. It's like, uh, I got potatoes, but they're not ripe, so... Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys see what I see down there, but I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. This guy has like an extremely, terribly, ridiculously bad habit of doing this. Every single time. Like, well, okay, not every single time, but like a lot. Since you're driving in front of this combine. Don't know why, but... Ever driving in front of the combine. I was looking at this too, debating whether I should uh, maybe pick some of this straw up, but yeah, I don't think so. I do have some over on this field yet if I want some more. Is that uh, actually your first pass? I think it actually is. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure looking at the width, I'm pretty sure that's his first pass. Wow. This is going to be a slow process. This, by the way, the Slutra is a fairly good sized tractor. I think it was a 240, 260. I forget now exactly how much horsepower it had here, but he does actually have a fair whack of horsepower. Oh, off by just a little bit. There we go. Okay, how we doing over here? We're still mowing grass. And you're thinking about driving in the river again? How nice. Out of curiosity, can this uh, Unimog do anything? I think the answer is no. Absolutely nothing. Oh, well. Just thought I'd look. Anyway, I wanted to get, uh, where's my truck? Over here. Oh, yeah. I was bringing this back. Got all about that. We'll, uh, continue bringing this truck back then. I wanted to make a few trips to the, uh, well, I don't know, sawmill. Not sure where I'm going with my wood equipment yet, but we're bringing it away from the farm. 
really the only thing I'm using there is this truck, the uh, log trailer, well, and chainsaw, and the aggro vector, which technically really isn't forestry related. I mean, that's just an in-game aggro vector. But I'll leave that there. Other than that, the chopper, the other log trailer. Actually, I think it might be there's two log trailers there. I forget now if I got two or one there. And then I'd probably even bring that uh, tractor away too because I'm really not using that a whole lot. Yeah, it's like really easy to drive over to this way, but driving back is kind of difficult because of the lag. Makes it, uh, yeah, like I said, really difficult. Uh, deleting the house out definitely helped. Obviously not the solution, but it did help. So, I know you folks wondering about that. <clears throat> I mean, even like good days, that house would drop my frames down to about 20, 20, 25. So I figured, well, I can't hurt none. Kind of disappointed about that. That was really a nice looking house here on this map. I wonder. Got that conveyor belt sitting there with uh, that's silage on it, though, isn't it? I had that on my northeast Iowa map. A conveyor belt with manure on it was uh, like causing severe lag. At least that's what I'm blaming, anyway. I sold it. My frames went up like 20, which doesn't really seem right, though. The lag is actually orange. Eight originate from over here it seems like. So don't hit the chairs there. Just out of curiosity, I'm pretty sure those chairs don't move, do they? Oh, they do. Okay, they do move. I was expecting it to be more of a solid option to run into them and, you know, flimsy looking wood chair would absolutely decimate your truck. Okay, yeah, so I got the uh, chipper. I do have, I got the one trailer with a crane on it. I got the other, just a trailer. Got the chopper there. I think it's just those three things. I think I want to get rid of them. I wonder if I should just like grab my Agabus Tenius trailer or something. That'd be kind of cool and put them up on there. I wonder if I can get all three of them on there. Just dump that there. I think it was Tenius Trailer. I think it's up over here. Okay, maybe I moved it. Remember where I put all this stuff all the time? Ah, there it is. Okay. I would say my next guess is I put it in the shed over here. Looks like I did. And sometime, too, I need to fish my corn header out of the uh, drink there. That was a slight oopsie. Oh, let's uh, raise them stands up. I have found it doesn't work too good if you uh, don't.
Oh yeah, I'm gonna want the tree. Come on now, stop. Eesh. It's like the brakes on these some of these vehicles are like really bad. Lower the ramps down. Also, I want to change the position of some of this stuff. And remove ramps small, which is nine. Yep, that's what I want. And remove extender ramps. Uh, let's see if I can get a better view of this. Is that seven? Yes, that is what I want. And... Okay, so many controls on this thing, it's ridiculous. Lower up, load ramp Z, nope, four. And remove, ah, yes, eight. Okay, that's what I'm looking for, get rid of that. And then move zero and period. Thought I got rid of that mod, apparently not. Okay, I think we're ready to put something on there. And maybe rather than using my uh, truck there, let's get rid of a tractor. And it's something else I did, by the way. I switched out the uh, Zeptor tractor here. I can now have the uh, same, uh, same tractor, <laughs> whatever it is. Same Explorer. Never used this tractor before, so it's like, hey, you know what? Let me grab that one instead in-game tractor, so I figure it's got to be better than the uh, mod Zetor. I know that thing, it's not, again, I don't think it's the cause of the issue, but it's not helping, so. And let's just drive this thing in the repair shop here. Looks like I need some repairs again, so. Looks like I'm constantly repairing this truck for some reason. Maybe I should stop running it into stuff. Would be a bad idea. Uh, Case Magnum needs to be refueled. Oh yeah, he's the one uh, doing the silage. Now, the trick here, folks, is obviously I want to back these up there. Can I back these up there in that space? Never really tried it that tight before. This should be good. Or either that really, really, really bad. I don't think that's going to be wide enough up there, is it? Bummer. I was hoping it would be. Too sharp there. Yeah, these MR tractors, it is really hard to get used to. Don't turn too sharp again with the uh, steering because it is slower. Uh, why is my front end <laughs> like hanging? Way down here. Okay, that's what's uh, screwing me up quite a bit. Not on the ramp. Uh, yeah, it is. It's not going up it though. Uh, let me try squaring this up a little bit more. I have to remember here, I don't have any adjustment once I'm going up the ramp, so. Not sure why that is, but.
Yes, that's as far as it's going to go. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I was like, oh crap, it's going to fall through the trailer there. Okay, looks like we can probably get one more on there. I'm not sure about that, uh... View of, eh, don't know if that trailer is going to fit. Let's try that for the chopper. Something, again, I haven't really used, and to be honest, I really don't know what the purpose is, because the wood chips you get from the sawmill and the, uh, the bio heat plant doesn't really use that many, so... It's like, what do you do with all the wood chips? So I don't really see a point in chopping anymore. I, you know, obviously I don't need any more, so... Now, yeah, there's a hitch on the back. I'm trying to remember, did I ever try hooking something up to this trailer? Or if I can hook the, uh, the other trailer up behind it, that'd be kind of cool. That is probably bad. I'm assuming this thing's going to do with the same thing the other one did. Once I'm going up here, I'm not going to have any steering capacity. Trying to get it going up somewhat straight. Oh no, this one's going up right. Okay. There we go. Now, it comes to my mind that I do need a uh, tractor over there to pull these things back off. Wonder if this thing will fit up there yet. a little bit more. Ooh, we might be able to. If I back this up a little more, can I? Uh, barely. Let's find out. That three-point linkage looks like it might be in the way. Okay, can I lock the load? Ah, oh, lock load. Okay, good. I'm slightly concerned when I start uh, raising these lamp ramps. Something's gonna go flying. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, well... <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. It's supposed to be locked. How come it's uh, bouncing around like that? Well, if it stays here, I'll... Uh, I'll put up with it, I guess. And now, this thing does have a hitch. I'm trying to remember. Have I ever tried it before? I think I have, and it doesn't attach. There is a hitch there. So, maybe it's a particular tr uh, type of hitch, too. I'm pretty sure I've tried it, and it doesn't work. But maybe it'll work with uh, this one over here, this uh, wood trailer. It's not a chance, right? Take a chance. Never hurts to take a chance. Wow, sometimes it does. In this case, it shunt. I'm slightly concerned that tractor's going to fall off one of these uh, times, but uh, we'll uh, see what's what happens, I guess. See, now if you had controllable ramps, you could you know, leave them down just a tad bit, and you'd probably be okay.
Okay, can't really see back there. Oh, it's not going to let me zoom out far enough to actually see either, is it? Okay. I'll have to walk back there. Uh, yeah, the trailer hitch I missed, it, like, by a mile. Okay, maybe not quite that much, but... Thinking that's a no, because it looks like I'm pretty close there. Uh, you know, my <laughs> I just happen to have an idea. I could uh, attach it to the tractor's hitch there. Oh boy, I better not. Better not. Yeah, that, that might be a bad idea. Anyway, folks, I think with that, we better uh, call it an episode there. I'm going to haul this uh, crap down to the, I don't know, sawmill. I might just haul it up to this area here. This is a wood chopping area. Might be a good place for it. Yeah, maybe I'll ha haul it up here. Seems like a pretty good place. So, hey, folks, have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.